guys on camera a few like thoughts on like your experience i'm from new york city oh. and um i'm like i'm kind of fascinated about like what's going on with like the protests and here in sweden and i've had my own experiences with police um in america which has been very negative and it's been completely different over here for me personally but um i think it's good for me to speak to people that's from here like you guys live here right and find out like what your experience is, bro. Find out what your experience is. So, would that be good? Yeah, of course. Okay, so, uh, have any of you guys had problems with police out here? Like, not that much, not that much. Like, the police here, they're actually not doing anything bad. Or just, just here to protect us. And we like, we just did the protest to support other country like America. And, uh, yeah, Adeline, what do you think? <laughs> I didn't hear the question. Uh, have you uh, had a uh, problems with police here in as like a, Sweden? Speak again. I, as a, you have yet to do it. How do you have problem with police? And no, 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 no. As a, the police here, as a, if you compare the police um, from Sweden and United States, yeah. the United yeah. States, it's a big difference because here they protect us. You know, they don't. As a, even if as a, there are not many police here who is uh, ra who are racist as in United States so actually here they are good so they're not that bad what's your thoughts on like the, the videos like when you see the videos of like what's going on in the United States like what's you guys thoughts on everything like it's, it's like it hurts it's, it's like it, yeah, yeah. You, like sometime when I'm watching those videos I started to cry because like this is so like it's not right it's not right to treat people the way it does because we are all hum human beings. We have the same blood, everything. Like, so why should it like uh, difference us from uh, other people, from white people? That's not right. Yeah. So, yeah, it doesn't feel right at all. We have some. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't. I don't like what happens because it's very, like I said, it's very heartbreaking to see what's going on in those parts of the world. Mm -hmm. and, it's the 21st century, we would, we would imagine that things would be so much better, but sadly it's not. So it's really heartbreaking and it's really disappointing to see that we, have, we haven't grown that much. Yeah. yeah, so I don't like it. Uh, I think I would say that what is happening in the US is not, uh, it's unfair. Mm -hmm. Because you can't just see people color, then put something bad on them. You don't know their background, so you just can't say that okay, this person, because he's working that, that way, is a bad person. So I think it's unfair that mm -hmm. this happened to black people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, you, what about you? Oh, well, I think, I think as well it's heartbreaking to see like black people be treated that way, especially like in America, you know, it's 2020, it's 2020 so we didn't expect it to be this way. It should have been more like better. So it's very heartbreaking, and to see that other other countries have the same story. We have uh, uh, it was Belgium or France, something like that. It was same story there. It's very. I said the other country. Uh, I said <laughs> the other countries. Like I thought, I think it's France that had the same story, something like that. So it's very bad that it's happening. Okay, it's very bad that it's happening around the world. But here in Sweden, it's not really the same. But we still, like, we still see racism, but like, not as much as in United States. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. There is racism here. Like, so like, the racism that you experience. Like, like, explain to me. Like, it's more when you go on a job interview. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, or school, yeah. sometimes. That many times, yeah. we many all times. Did. because yeah. as I remember the first time. Actually, I used to live in, in this big town before, but then we moved to a smaller, uh, to town. A small, a smaller town. It's where you can really see a so a high level of racist people yeah, exactly. because they 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 haven't seen black people before. And then so even if they have seen black people before, they don't know how to 
which thing they should say, which thing they shouldn't say. So it's very there bad. is racism here in Sweden, but it's not as all not that much as in United States. You see, yeah. like because Swedish Swedish people there are as so many of them are actually racist people. I know as a real men. They don't don't they don't, don't show it, yeah. but in another way, exactly. They can be like oh, yeah. Uh, no, like acts. Let's say in the bus, maybe they will just take their place when they see a black person that they want to be with. This is how they used to act, but they don't say, oh, this is a black person I don't want to be with. No. But like in the way they act, you or you see with your eye that yeah, yeah they are the racist. racist. Yeah. That's they don't how. Really like confront, uh, confront to you and tell you like we don't like you. They're just gonna be weird to you. Maybe like if you are going the same way, they're gonna move. Yeah. Or in a job interview, they're gonna be like, yeah, you know, I didn't think you were this. Smart. I didn't think like you can oh do that. God. They can be oh, like, oh, so you had good, you have good grades. Oh, oh you are going shocked. to university. You are doing this. Oh they be God. like shocked, but like we are human beings too. So they just treat us in a different way. But it's not like United States where they tell you like, I don't like you. Oh my I hate God. you. I, 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 rem I rem yeah. exactly. I remember one time in my classroom, a guy. So we had a white uh, whiteboard, and then it was a black spot on the white boy and from nowhere he was like at least you see that's you the black one the stupid one i was like what? whoa okay and i told my teacher but the thing that i didn't know was my was that my teacher was also a racist so, so she didn't say anything you see that's the problem with sweden if they see anything they don't tell you we need to stand for ourselves there is no one who backs us up there is no one we need to stand for ourselves that's how it is that's also, this is going on. We need to be there for ourselves. That's the thing also why I'm mad at some people. They're like, uh, how should we say, like our African countries, like they don't want to, the president, they don't want us to succeed. They just want the money. They don't care about the people. That's the bad thing. So we, should, we should be thinking about the next generation because we are actually living what our aunties and uncles and everybody was living up to. But we can't continue like that. We need to change. But it's hard to change something that our ancestors couldn't change. But we need to stay strong and continue. Yeah, think together. Yeah. Like we have to work together and support each other so things can go for like changes. I hope changes like will happen because I'm tired of seeing black people being treated the way they are. It's not nice, not at all. Because yeah. we are all human beings. Like that's it. Thank you. So what would you think would be like a good solution, like at least here in Sweden, like let's not think outside too far, but like what's the solution that like like you guys and like... Yeah, no, I just think for me, I think like white people should give black people more like opportunities. opportunities to be like in high levels too. Because we had like, we just have like one that's like minister who is black, only one. Sabina. Sabina, oh. yeah, so I think like maybe black people should try to to show that we are smart like we are capable to do exactly the same like they are doing and then be in the same level so they can respect us so but i feel like if some what like if a black person are like in a high level may, it may be like the white people like they're gonna respect that person that's how to respect like everyone else but so i think gonna... also that education is really important because like in the school, we only learn about the white history. It's good, okay, we live in a white country. Yeah, we need to learn about the white history. But it's also good to learn about black history because many people like us, I needed to learn about my history by myself. I needed to Google, search, ask people, but that's not okay. They because these white that. people, they don't know exactly what happened. That's why they can't go and say the N-word because they don't know what the N-word really does to people so I think education is really important it's yeah. really important it's like grund why is it grund uh, base, base. base. Yeah. 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 <laughs> because they only teach you about slavery yeah that's but all black uh, white people know yeah black people were slave but they never but they never like, says why? that the, the rich man was uh, Masa Musa they never says something like that yeah, and that's really important. Exactly. The richest man was Mansa Musa, or oh, uh, Nelson Mandela was this, or oh, Barack Obama was that. They need to teach us more about our history. Exactly. Not just learn, oh, Nelson Mandela, he was a prisoner. 
No, we don't want to learn just about that. Yeah, what did he do to become Be a, a prisoner? prisoner. Exactly. Like, what's the what's the thing? Like, we need to know the the base of everything. That's the thing we don't know. So I think it's very good if they teach even white people about it. So it's good. They just teach us about slaves. Yeah, Americans, they took black people. That's all. But like, why and how and what did some slaves do and all that? We don't know that. So I think it's like they need to try harder. Yeah, <laughs> that's all. Yeah, I that too. I don't really remember. Like, I don't really know. Like she said, education. Everybody needs to know about what our history, what really happened. So they can like, maybe this is bad. No, not maybe, this is bad what they're doing. So like if they know more uh, and learn more about the uh, black community, maybe the, the, their, their thought would change. They will start to do like, uh, be, uh, behave better to black people and uh, they will like uh, respect us maybe more not, not just seeing the, the skin color because it's nothing so yeah what about you? do you think there's any solutions? Like? I also think the same as them and I think uh, education is also the solution because we have to start when the kids are younger so they will grow up with it and also tell their children that this is the history we are all the same and we can all live together. So I think it's also education the solution to the problem. Okay. Yeah. So is there anything that you guys could do or like are you guys working like, on anything? We, we have started, like I was, I went to the, like all of us, I think we were, we went to the protest and tried to, like really to show that this, this is what we can do all together. Yeah. Because if we are rain, rain, like um, all of you Oh yeah, if we are together, yeah, united. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to, all together, then uh, things will move forward, and maybe faster if they see that not only one person is talking about it. Like as many as we are, like the better it is. Yeah. So yeah, so I agree grow. that we will make it. Yes, girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. Say hi yeah. to Barack Obama. Yeah. Yeah. I will. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I gotta meet him first. But. Let me get you guys in. Mm -hmm.